Hey everybody, Not Nuts here again. Just uh, want to do an update video on my progress and uh, thoughts with the Storm Drains Paracord Pouch Project, which I really, really like a lot. Uh, this is the original uh, pouch that I did that I've already done a video about that I like pretty good, but I saw some room for improvement. As you can tell, it is virtually full of quarters now. Every time I swear, a quarter goes in the pouch, and I virtually broke myself with the habit of swearing in about a week or so. I still got some work to do, but I thought I might need a bigger pouch, so I started working on some other pouches. Um, and I didn't have any cord because I accidentally brought my coils of pieces of the ends of project. So I spliced a bunch of cord together and then made this next. And I kind of like the way it came out, but um, I made this one more to Storm Dream's original uh, specs, which was, I think, 24 wraps around a can and then uh, uh, a vertical, the vertical cords every half inch or so, and then half hitching on the bottom, which I feel like I did a much better job on the half hitching on the bottom of this one. I'm, I'm, I'm happier with that, but not uh, completely satisfied with it. And this pouch I used to put um, uh, these uh, fasteners for bracelets and other different projects. So that's going to be a handy little bag for me, but I still kind of feel like I, I like the original bag better where I had the vertical cords closer together. It seems like it really makes the bag um, much sturdier and you can put smaller objects in it without fear of uh, them coming out. Like if I was going to put small ball bearings or something in this, you could tell it wouldn't take much for this for this to come apart. You can easily get some slack in there and this and it just kind of starts uh, opening up a little bit but it works great for these so I'm pretty happy with that and once again I didn't feel like this was canned koozie material I didn't feel like it was tall enough when I was done I want the can when I make the koozie I want the can or the koozie to go from the bottom all the way up to almost the very top and then to be able to cinch it down around this slimmer part of the can so the koozie won't fall off so then I started experimenting again and just I was trying to get rid of all those ends so I thought I'd do as big a one as I can and I got a bigger uh, can this is almost like the size of a monster drink or something it's a I think a 26 ounce drink and and made this this guy here which I'm very very happy with you notice I'll put I put the cords very close together and this one as close as I could get them and the half hitching on the bottom I'm really happy with I think I've I've gotten that exactly the way I want it and so I'm happy with that and I also did a couple of other improvements which I encourage people to do I think you should take a project and really try and make it your own you notice when you take the can out of this one this uh, this bag stands up on its own it's quite sturdy and there's no slack I can't like I just opened up that other bag there's a tiny tiny opening that I really tried hard to open up and that's as much as I can do this this bag is really sturdy in fact if I turn it upside down I can set the can on it and the uh, the whole thing just is very sturdy so I think this would make a good can koozie it's uh, it, and not even necessary to put a cord around it and I think it's uh, going to be just the right size that I need for my new swear bag. I hope I don't swear so much that I fill this thing up. Okay, so anyway, those were just my thoughts. Uh, keep watching. Thanks.